In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this dark smoke effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Thrower here and as you can see, this is the final output. Uh, and the good thing about this effect is that uh, it doesn't require that much of time. You can create it like super fast, just like that. Okay, so to do it, first of all, we need a really nice background. I'm going to use this orange background. So go to file and select open. And here I'm going to select this background photo and open it. Now before we do anything, we need to get rid of these birds, which is very easy. Double click on your background and unlock it. After that, uh, grab any of your selection tool. I'm going to go with the circle one here. So go and make selection of the birdie like this. Then press shift delete and the content aware option, select this one and hit OK. And do the same for the another bird and you should be good to go okay so let's do it and to remove the selection you can go to select and deselect now here's the thing i need to crop the photo a little bit to get the exact composition that i want so i'm gonna get a crop tool uh, and here just i'm gonna clear it again and select the photo so let's go and crop this a little bit. I think I'm going to keep it here and also I'm going to crop this really dark corner from here because I don't like that. Uh, and also a little bit from the top like this and also make sure that the delete pixel is off and confirm it so you don't actually delete the rest of the area. Now we can add in the model. So go to file and then go to place embedded. Uh, here select photo of this model and place it. Go and confirm it. Now, of course, we need to remove the background. And for that, you can go and select your quick selection tool. So right click here and quick selection tool and make selection of the model. And even though she's wearing a white towel in front of a white background, it's actually a pretty easy photo to select. So as you can see, the entire selection is already done, but we need to remove this portion from here. So for that, uh, you can go here and select the minus option. And then you can do the click like this and boom, that's gone and the entire model is selected. After that, go and click on this layer mask icon. So the background is gone. Now we have a couple of issues. One, the edges are really rough and also hair doesn't look very good. Uh, to fix that, first of all, right click on your layer mask here and then go select and mask. And here I'm going to increase the radius a little bit, uh, let's say three to four pixel. And then I'm going to make the edges really smooth like this. And also I'm going to add a little bit of feather and then a little bit of contrast to make sure that it looks really nice and clean. So this is good and hit OK. After that, do the same thing again. So right click and then select and mask. This time, make sure that the second tool here is selected, your Refine Edge tool, and then paint on the hair to give it this really nice selection. Okay, so I think this one looks really nice, then hit OK. Now we need to flip the model. For that, um, make sure you select the model first, not the mask, but model, then press Command T. Uh, so the transform options are available after that right click and select flip horizontal She's facing the other way and then you can make her smaller from this corner And if you're using old version of Photoshop hold your shift key when you do it uh, So she doesn't uh, lose the proportion. I think this one looks uh, decent enough uh, for what I'm looking for uh, And then go and confirm it Now we need to turn her into a silhouette for that you can go to your uh, adjustment layer here and there go and select uh, hue and saturation this option and before you do anything turn on your clipping mask after that go to your lightness and make it all the way to minus 100 then go and close it okay really good model and background is ready now we can add in the smoke uh, for that create new blank layer and then select your brush tool from here now to create this effect, I'm going to use some brushes that I downloaded from the internet and if you want to use them, the download link is in the description. So once you install your brushes, uh, you can select your brush tool and then click on this little icon here and uh, here you will find the brushes that you just installed. So you can open it and uh, here are, you can use any of them that you like, but for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use the fifth one here. So select that, 
make sure that the layer one is active the color here is completely black and then do a click like this so you have this really nice stroke of the brush after that press command T so you can rotate your brush exactly how you like and then I'm gonna put the brush somewhere around here like it and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and confirm it now as you can see there is this really hard edges that we don't want so to fix that it's actually easy uh, make sure your brush layer is active then go and apply the layer mask after that in the brush go back and select the, any regular round brush so you can go to your general brushes and just select a regular soft round brush uh, really good then make sure right click and hardness is zero percent this is a uh, extremely important okay so that's done and then here make sure you have black color because we want to erase these edges so uh, go and remove the edges like this okay that looks pretty good but problem is that it's ending abruptly and we need to add some elements to make it flow better for that I'm gonna create another blank layer so go and create new blank layer and this is gonna be the brush number two so go back click here and this time I'm gonna select you know what uh, this one looks really nice then go and do a click now just like the last time I'm gonna press ctrl T uh, and then rotate it uh, so I can adjust it exactly how I like so I think here this one looks better I'm gonna make it slightly bigger Okay, this looks nicer then go and confirm it and just like the last time as you can see it has really hard edges that we need to remove uh, for that again go back and select your regular round brush super soft and then apply a layer mask uh, also make sure that you have black color because we want to erase it Now here's the thing, at the bottom portion it looks okay but this one looks really faded in compared to rest of the photo. So to fix that I'm gonna hold my command key and click on both of the smoke layers so as you can see uh, both of them are selected. After that you will press command J so it will make a duplicate of it. Uh, so as you can see it looks much darker and it's matching better. Now what I want is uh, do you see this top layer I'm gonna make one more copy press command J but only the top layer so it is more darker and it matches evenly with the bottom portion now this is up to you how dark you want so if you think it's little too much you can go and reduce the opacity to have some middle ground setup is ready now I'm gonna group all of the brushes so it's easy to manage so click on the layer one then hold your shift key and click on the top layer and then press command G so all of them are in a single group now if you want to make them bigger you can just press command T and make the whole thing a little bit bigger another cool thing if you think that you want to remove this dark patches from here you can directly apply layer mask on the group and then you can erase whatever you like so as you can see from here I'm erasing these things that are not looking very good and the best part is that everything inside the group stays the same so if you don't like it you can just right click and delete the layer mask and it's back to normal super convenient this is ready now I'm gonna apply a gradient right behind the model so we can separate her a little bit more from the background uh, for that I'm gonna go and create new adjustment layer and this time I'm gonna select a gradient in the gradient uh, instead of this black color I want completely white so go and select a white color and here I'm gonna select a white one as well so okay after that I need to keep it radial so it's circular and then I'm gonna put it exactly here like this uh, angle 90 scale 100 completely fine hit ok after that go to your blending options and turn it to soft light so as you can see now we have this really nice soft glow behind the model which helps us separate from separate model from the background and it looks pretty good you can also double click on the gradient and then you can move it around like this so here this is perfect hit ok 
Now let's decorate the photo a little bit. For that, first of all, I'm gonna add a moon. So for that, go to file and then place embedded. Uh, select photo of this moon, place it, uh, confirm it. And then in the blending option, go and turn it to the screen mode. Uh, and then put it here like this. Press command T, rotate it like that. And put the moon here. Now, as you can see, there is this edge uh, around the moon that we need to remove. For that, uh, you can just right click, rasterize the photo, then go to image, adjustment, and then go to levels. And here you can uh, adjust the middle slider to remove that white uh, area and boom, it's gone. Hit OK. Easy. Now let's add in the stars. And then uh, you can remove this hard edge with a directly eraser or mask, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to get an eraser tool, right click, make sure hardness is 0%, make it big like this. And then erase the hard edge. As you can see, it's very light. So to make it strong, you can press command J and duplicate the layer. So stars are a bit more visible. And that's pretty much it. This is the final output. As I said, it's not very long process. Anyone can do it, easy to follow. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, you can ask me in comment section below. If you wanna check out more videos by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Till then, goodbye. Take care and have some fun with Photoshop.